today as we come together it's with all sorts of thoughts and feelings perhaps from the changing situation with lockdown and covid with remembrance for loved ones who have served with us or who served for us with stories of pain but also stories of hope and we remember that God is with us in all the different places and circumstances. That's the page God of consolation. In all the stories of our lives you are with us as we turn to each other and turn to you may we give and find all the comfort that we need knowing that it is in such shelter that we hear the echoes of your great kindness amen amen so we have our first hymn eternal father strong to save Thank you. So Corinne is going to lead us in a prayer of approach. Sorry. Let us draw near to God. 
God, God draws, draws near, near to, us. to us. Let us listen to God. God, God listens to us. to us. Let us open our hearts. God, God, God gathers us all all in the place of our heart. heart. Let us be nurtured by words of eternal life. God, God, yours are the words of life and life abundant. Amen. So we ask God's forgiveness for ourselves, for our nations, for his church. As we remember all the things that have led to conflict and dispute. So we pray together. Yes. We hear our story for the time we are speaking. As if our faith has made no difference to our family. For the times we have turned away. From the pain of others. From the times we have been wrapped up in our own concerns. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Amen. 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 And we receive God's forgiveness, knowing that his forgiveness is for us and for all people. And his hope is not just forgiveness, but restoration and renewal. And so as you pour out your forgiveness upon each one of us, Lord, we ask that you would renew us in our spirits and in our hearts and in our deeds. That your kingdom may come. Amen. Amen. So Corinne is going to read for us from Romans. Romans chapter 8. Verses 31 to 39. God's love in Christ Jesus. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died. Yes, who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God and who indeed intercedes for us? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written? For your sake, we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> so uh, collect for Remembrance Sunday which we invite you to pray with me. God, God our, our refuge, refuge and strength, bring near the day when war shall cease, poverty and hell shall end, that earth may be the peace of heaven. Through Jesus, through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. 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 So as we gather to remember, um, I came across a phrase, uh, uh, one of these sayings that often you find in different places. Um, and this one, um, after some searching around to find the original, where it originally came from, 
and what it originally said, because there are lots of variations on it through the years, um, I came to what I think is probably the, the definitive original version, as far as we can find out. And it was something that was written on the walls of a house in Cologne, in Germany. Um, it was a house where young Catholics were keeping Jews in hiding um, during the war. And apparently it was found written on the wall by an American soldier after the liberation. And the phrase simply goes like this. I believe in the sun, even when it's not shining. I believe in God, even when he is silent. I believe in love, even when it's not apparent. And there is in those words some quite profound thoughts tied up with our um, thinking of remembrance. Because the problem, the question, the challenge of all these times is, well, where has God been in all of this? Well, if, if there is a loving God, why does he let all this happen? If there is a God in heaven, why doesn't he stop people doing things which are wrong? And there's lots of other questions which come around it, aren't there? There's that problem of suffering. Um, and to be quite honest, the answer is we don't know. Um, we've got some hints and clues um, about what God's thoughts and ideas about these things are. Um, but why do they continue? Why do they permit it? Well, I think it's something, first of all, to do with us rather than anybody else. The temptation for me is always to see it as somebody else's problem. That's what somebody else is doing. And, and I'm just the victim of all of this. And it's not really my fault. It's not really what I've done. It's what people do to me. But I think that the challenge for us and the, and the downward spiral starts when we begin to forget who God is and what God calls us to be. And, I, and it's quite interesting, a lot of the later versions of that saying have the God bit last. I believe in God even when he is silent. But the original has love last. I believe in love even when it's not apparent. And it seems to me that the challenge to love is the challenge which God gives to all of us. And if we begin to work out how to love, we actually live in God, whether we realize it or not. God is love and those who live in God live in love and those who live in love live in God, John. The apostle puts it, this, it, puts, it, well, it puts it in John's letters. So there is that inclination of God to look for us to love first. And we can love whether we believe in God or not. But I think it's easier to love as you begin to realize that God loves you. And those words from Romans remind us that God's love doesn't fail even when circumstances around us appear to say that God's love is failing. That just because we cannot hear God doesn't mean he's not around and he's not full of love, but there are other issues and people and things get in the way. And so the invitation to us as God's people is to love first. The invitation to all people is to love first. Um, and this is not political in in big sense. It's just an observation of something I heard um, last night or early this morning. I can't remember when it was now. When someone said the difference in America between the two presidents, the current one and the new one elect, is that one said America first and the other said people first. Now, I don't necessarily want to comment on the values, but there seems to be something different between where we, what would we put first? Do we put the love of people first? Do we put the love of God first? Or do we put our values and our beliefs and all those things up there and then we contend for them? If we're those who call, are called to love people first, then that's the preeminent thing. And God is preeminently a God of love. So there is no answer to why suffering, to why war. But in the midst of it, the challenge to us is to be those who love. In the same way that young Catholics in Cologne risked their lives to care for Jewish people who were going to be killed otherwise. Not because they believed the same thing or thought the same thing, but simply because they wanted to love. But sometimes love is not being passive. Sometimes love needs to be active. It needs sometimes to defend and stand up 
and speak out. It's not just enough to, to say, well, therefore, love means I can, I'm just nice to everybody, because that leads also to problems. But it is choosing how best to love. And therein lies the problem, how best to love. And that leads us, calls us, pushes us back to God, who in the midst of everything invites us to say, yes, God, you are still the same. You are on our side and that nothing we do, nothing that happens can separate us from your love. In the lovely words of the hymn, eternal father, strong to save, that you are with us. Um, and so we're going to have our next hymn, Oh God, our help in ages past. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom, love and power, have compassion on those for whom we pray and help us to use all suffering in the cause of your kingdom. Through him who gave himself for us on the cross, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Harry is going to lead us in his in our prayers. Let us pray. We pray for the peace of the world, for statesmen and rulers of all the nations, that they may have the wisdom and courage to know and the courage to do what is right. We pray for all those who work to improve international relationships, that they may find the true way to reconcile people of different races, colour, colours, creeds and beliefs. And for men and women the world over, that they may have justice and freedom and live in security and peace.
Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of war. For the injured and the disabled, for the mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and man has been weakened or destroyed. For the homeless and refugees, for those who are hungry, and for all who have lost their livelihood and security. For those who mourn their dead. For those who have lost husband or wife, children or parents. And especially for those who have no hope in Christ to sustain them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. <clears throat> Lord God, we remember the courage and dedication of all those who in those past days took to the air and pioneered the Royal Air Force we know today. Especially we remember the sacrifice of those who gave their all in times of war and strife. Grant that being inspired by their example, we may follow them in their endeavours to work for a world in which peace and justice reign supreme, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We pray together. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day, day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us and lead not, not to temptation, temptation, but deliver, but us, deliver from us from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We have been gathered in by you, God the source of all wisdom and wonder. In your infinite kindness, you show goodness to all. May we who have been nurtured by your cons consolation and welcome, share consolation and welcome with all we meet, knowing that from your great goodness, all goodnesses flow. Amen. 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 So our final hymn is Thy Hand, as God has guided.
to say that we will be here online next Sunday at 10 o'clock um, and that service will then be available also on um, Facebook live and then recorded and also on YouTube later on as well so if people want to catch up during the week then that's lovely and there'll be various services um, going on during the day morning prayers complins um, and if you want to know more about those then you need to ask Corinna for the mailing as it comes out we're going to move now over to the memorial in Bardney, onto the green um, and other people to other places, but invite you, if you're not able to do anything else, just to go out at 11 o'clock and stand on the side of the road for two minutes in remembrance um, or however else you can do that, but to make sure that you remember to stop and give thanks and remember and pray that we would learn from history. So let's ask God's blessing as we finish our time together. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us and we will see you um, either a little later or at some point during the week in whatever electronic means we can. Um, remember to just keep safe and to wash your hands. Hi.